My vet has recently told me that she thinks one of our horses has neurologic EHV1. Oh. I don't know very much about this, but I was told it could spread. Are my other horses in danger? What can I do for my current horse with this condition? Is euthanasia the best option? Wow, so with these we like to have a lot of fun, you know, but this is a really serious a one. topic and yeah. I, feel, I feel bad for this person. Um, EHV1 or equine herpes virus 1 is, um, is a serious condition and it's what, ha what happens is there's three presentations or way this disease can present. And so respiratory is, is probably common, is most common. And then um, abortion storms, they call them, when a, a bunch, mm -hmm. a big, like a, a, a broodmare farm, a bunch of mares have this. And then rarely, but enough that we take notice now, they have this neurological presentation. Mm. And it starts out with a fever. There can be some respiratory signs. I don't know what her horse had, but the neurologic signs are um, the, the scientific word is ataxia, but it means wobbly or incoordinated. Um, and, and when that happens, I mean, it's, it's a reportable disease in states, and so the, your, your, you, you tell your vet and he tells the state vet, and, mm -hmm. and it, that barn is probably now under quarantine, mm -hmm. and they typically don't release the quarantine until 21, maybe 28 days. They have to make sure that the horses don't um, they're not actively shedding it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so they have, they do nasal swab testing and blood testing and, and follow the disease progression around. But um, within the barn even, they'll quarantine. The, the horses that have clinical signs, from the ones that have positive tests, from the ones that are absolutely, you know, 100% normal. Mm -hmm. So um, this is, just, we always talk about work closely with your vet, but this is one where there's no option. I mm -hmm. mean, you do exactly what your vet and the state vet tells you. And, and as far as the quality of life issue, I mean, that's a decision that you have to make personally and your, your vet weighs in on and, and friends and family and that sort of thing. So um, I don't have a percentage number for the, the ones that develop clinical signs of, of neurology and then with, you know how many need really euthanasia, but um, there there is a link between the seriousness of the neurological signs. Like if you're just a little wobbly, that's one thing. But if you're down and can't get up, mm -hmm. that's much more significant. Sure. So those are the kind of things that your veterinarian will weigh into the decision and the advice. Yeah, and continue to evaluate the horse and you know give exactly. you an updated prognosis. And, and of course treat them. They they treat the 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 signs. So they'll sure. try to reduce the fever. They'll try to um, calm down the inflammation in the nervous system. So mm -hmm. they'll do things to help the horse. They'll probably give fluids to make sure that the horse stays hydrated and painkillers right. and that sort of thing. With um, EHV1 and you know, kind of herpes outbreaks in general, it sounds like we're seeing, at least me personally, even on my own just Facebook newsfeed, more news of horse show grounds being closed and things like that with more outbreaks. And I recently saw USCF um, updated their vaccination requirements. Can you talk a little bit well, about that? Well, it's called the, the new use of vaccine rule because they didn't used to have it. This is the first year that it's been um, around and a rule and enforced. And it, I think their year starts December 1st, so we're six months in, but you have to have proof that your horse has been vaccinated with influenza and rhinopneumonitis, which is the other name for EG, mm. um, within six months of entering the showgrounds. Mm -hmm. Because it is, it, as you were saying, it's something that once it happens is so serious, you know, that people are trying yeah. to be more proactive. And then it's spread from horse to horse, and commingling and stress seems to activate shedding of the virus. Which is a great description of a showground. Exactly. Commingling yeah. stressed horses, yeah. yeah. yeah.